Barcelona and today we decided to explore more of the regular districts so our hotel is uh, uh, not exactly in the center it's like 15 minutes by metro and we decided to walk to the center to see more of the normal living areas to see how locals spend their regular Tuesdays because today is Tuesday and it was a good idea actually and if you get a better picture of the city uh, as a whole when you visit not only the touristic areas but also regular districts and yeah it was quite nice interesting experience now we are approaching the sea because the city is so gigantic that we spent like literally the whole day yesterday walking we made 40,000 steps was it yeah about yeah so we're trying always to walk as much as possible to see as much as possible but it's just gigantic like the city is gigantic there's so many streets to explore it's just impossible to see that all and we haven't reached the coastline yesterday we we're like okay we'll do it yesterday so now we just approached the coastline and there is the sea Woohoo! Mm. yeah and we decided to take this promenade straight to the city center from here it will take us like 40 minutes or something but i think uh, it's a nice idea we'll get like a better feeling the city and then we are going to continue exploring some tourist sites we have quite a list uh, yesterday we managed to see many things but many things left today and we'll be taking you around Although we came to Barcelona in late spring, it was already quite hot and the beaches were full of people. The beach line of the city is very long and it's a perfect place for morning or evening walks. It's everything you put me through. After following the coastline for around 30 minutes, we reached another of Barcelona's highlights, Citadela Park. This park is like a green oasis in the center of the city, making it a perfect spot for locals as well as tourists to come here to hide from the afternoon heat, take a boat or just relax. After the park we headed to one special place. about this croissant with mascarpone since Poland. We've seen several YouTubers recommending this, so this is the moment of trying. I haven't got to the cream yet. You have to, I think, split it in half. Mm. Mm. But it's so fresh. Oh my god, look at Oof. this. <laughs> this is not for you. <laughs> 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 he almost grabbed oh, yeah. my croissant. I love dogs, but we are not sharing croissants with them today. Not today. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Say something. Oof. This is extra indulgent. Life is unfair. This thing should be healthy. They, they should be healthy. They, they don't be, count when you are. There should be zero calories. Wow. When you are in different country, calories don't count. Mm. And it's not too bad, you know? It's very tender and light and super fresh. If you stop shooting. One of the biggest pluses of traveling through Spain is obviously Spanish food and great local markets, which in my opinion are a must-visit site. 
The first market we visited was Mercado de San Antonio, a true paradise for foodies. Here you can find a great variety of fresh natural products as well as great restaurants cooking fresh food. And of course, mejillones and sangria. If you come to Barcelona, make sure to visit Barcelona Cathedral, another masterpiece of 14th century Gothic architecture. The view from the rooftop of the cathedral is as impressive as its interior, so this place is a must. Somewhere there is our hotel. Here is Sagrada Familia. And here is the sea. The best horchata in Barcelona and the best cheesecake in Barcelona. Barcelona is so diverse and there are so many beautiful areas here, you name it. One of our personal favorites was the district of Barceloneta. Located near the coastline, it's famous for its beautiful beaches and amazing seafood restaurants. for good pinchos, which are these nice little sandwiches on the bread with different toppings, you need to come to this street. I will link the name down below. And there is a whole bunch of bars that offer pinchos. So We started our next day in Barcelona by visiting Sagrada Familia Cathedral. And this time we went inside. And I really just couldn't believe my eyes how beautiful this place is. It's definitely one of a kind. Let's go, grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice, take it for a walk while we talk about our lives. I just want to spend some quality time, some quality time. And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign. And we don't need to do something you don't really like. I just want to spend some quality time, some quality time. But no one ever really gets it. I swear I got the best intentions. Cause I'm not really good at saying your words. But we can find a way to make them work what's your favorite kind of movie it doesn't really matter to me cause I'm down to do whatever is the mood just tell me what I can do to make you mine so we just visited Sagrada Familia it was our second time seeing it I mean uh, on the first day we only saw it outside and we we're already very impressed but we had our ticket for today because you can't just uh, buy tickets at the spot you need to book them online beforehand and uh, today we entered the cathedral and it was just jaw-dropping I mean it really deserves the reputation it has and 
no need to say too much it was one of the most beautiful extravagant unique different i don't know which adjectives to use my english Holy. is not that good i think it's not good enough to describe this cathedral um, i've seen lots of beautiful cathedrals uh, in my life i remember when we were in italy in rome seeing this majestic grand cathedral so thinking that like wow like really people can create such beautiful things masterpieces and i uh, didn't think that i would ever see something more impressive but sagrada was more impressive it was just very different and with all respect to all the talented architects of the past i think gaudi beats them all well i think you can i shouldn't say it like that because it depends on the taste and uh, i don't want to like uh, you know speak badly of other architects or something like that but the point is that this guy had style has his own vision for sure which was very different and very very impressive and now we are continuing exploring barcelona we've seen most of the sites already so the plan for today is just walking around seeing more of the beautiful streets of barcelona probably we're gonna go to the mount tibidado with a beautiful sacre coeur uh, church on top of it and supposedly uh, this mountain offers even better views over barcelona than this little hilltop which we visited yesterday that one was called I'm still struggling with pronouncing it well, Montiu Monturk or something like that. So yeah, but now we're heading to eat, to Mercado de Boqueria, a very touristic, oh, really? very touristic <laughs> market. Intrigued. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't visit there. Maybe the things that are a bit overpriced because it's touristic, as we said, but um, they have a very good choice of things. We were everything there yesterday. Yeah, kind of everything is all together. You don't need to think too much what to order and so on. You just see the options uh, and uh, yeah, we decided no. to eat there, to have our breakfast. Then we will go and grab the croissant with mascarpone. The one we ate yesterday it was so good. We decided to repeat it and continue with the flow. Let's go, grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives I just wanna spend some quality time, some quality time And I don't need a gift, I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just wanna spend some quality time, some quality time You can tell me how your day went now we'll listen to the days and be good. This is what we got on Bocadillo Market. Philip got burrito. And I'm going classic with a mix of seafood. So there is a, is a fried calamari, fried squid, is there croquetas, and a bunch of stuff. Cause I could just spend all my time with you for all my days So just tell me how I can make you wanna be mine Tell me what I can try to love you the way you want For me personally, Barcelona was love at first sight, that's for sure. It's such a lively city and it has its own very special energy that attracts you and makes you want to stay. But unfortunately, our stay here was coming to an end and it was time for new adventures. But we don't say goodbye, we say hasta luego Barcelona. We will definitely meet again. Mm -hmm.